So here is the scientific method model for experimentation. It's a little bit messy graph. But I hope you get the point. And we'll refer to this map as we go along as well. First, your questions, your hypothesis will have to come out of the business need. Is this worth your time and resources? Some questions you can just perhaps go over without answering if it's not in financial need. And then when you formulate questions or when you formulate a hypothesis, it has to be of practical, not statistical. Okay. Um, so do not proceed until practical difference has been defined. And then when you plan your study, it will be in iterations. So don't spend your entire budget in the first, the rule of thumb is 25% on the first experiment of your budget and so forth. Because you will have follow up experiments, the answers that have not been, or the new questions that will be raised by your first experiment and so forth. So investigation is iterative in nature, or the data from the first experiment are compared to predictions, which is from your hypothesis. So always make predictions and you will see how we do this in our um, jump and so forth. Now the prediction, the reason this is important is predictions is equals, your, when you get data after your predictions, uh, the difference between your prediction versus um, the actual data. So the absolute difference equals your knowledge gap. So if you knew what your process would, the results of a process, then you have very little knowledge gap. That means you have good understanding of your process. However, if there's a big gap, the delta between your data and your prediction, then you have a huge knowledge gap. So that's kind of the metric of how well you understand your process. And then we go into the run study. This is where you get data and so forth. Finally, we draw conclusions. So this is where the prediction versus data have the study met objectives. What relations do we need more explanations? New questions come up and we plan and we go into the next study and so forth. The new knowledge and we'll have to go back into our process map, hypothesis map, measurement system analysis and so forth. So it's all iterative and you have to take the experience of small chunks. Don't try to plan uh, one massive giant experiment that will consume all your resources and time because you do not at the point, you may be at the point where you do not fully understand what you need to experiment on.